cartels and, and price fixing schemes happen in a free market where there's no antitrust cartels companies will come together to form cartels there will be price fixing but to the extent that those cartels um, cause prices to increase beyond market prices or the price fixing causes prices to increase to a level of profitability for these country companies that is not competitive then there will be competitive pressures from companies outside the cartel to enter and compete against the cartel to break the to cause the cartel to break up or to cause the price fixing scheme to dissipate and indeed there is no real example in history of a long-term ability of companies to fix prices in a way that produces above market profits that you know that, that are caused by these prices being very very high competitors will always enter the markets in order to defeat these cartels in order to defeat the price uh, fixing scheme and the freer the market is the less price fixing there's going to be the more competition there is the fewer barriers there are to entry the only place where you see these kind of monopolistic behaviors the places where you see these kind of monopolies is where government provides government power to the cartel or government power to a particular company uh, everywhere else the market drives these and breaks them up so people will try it people will attempt it and it will be broken up and of course i believe people have a right to attempt it and if let's say a cartel is successful for a while so be it you don't have a right to buy a particular good at a particular price uh, capitalism is not about maximizing some magical utility function or, or maximizing the, the or, or guaranteeing the best price availability or some perfect competitive model perfect competition as your professors draw it on a blackboard doesn't exist and shouldn't exist it's wrong what you have is a market process and some of that market process is sometimes people try to fix prices and they succeed for a while they have a right to set whatever price they want they have a right to collude you don't have a right to any given price but the fact is that in a market it doesn't survive for very very long but it does survive for a while so what the the reason we advocate for capitalism is not because in every single instance you can find that it is the so-called uh, theoretically the most efficient it's because it is the only moral system it is the only system that leaves you free to pursue your happiness leaves you free to pursue your rational values that's why we advocate for capitalism and by the way over the long term and over the economy as a whole it is also the most efficient system the most productive system the system that creates the most wealth